have seen inspired and inspiring individuals doing great things with technology in their classroom. While this is admirable, we need to take a step back and ask, is it sufficient? Is it sustainable? Can it have continuity and consistency? And at the end of the day, is the use of ICT the business of one individual or of the whole school community? Use of ICT should be considered in relation to a set of other things, like the vision of the school, its profile, the digital competencies of teachers and the students, the culture of the school, the current teaching and learning practices with and without ICT. It also involves putting in place appropriate processes and roles. Consider the use of ICT as part of the school development process. And the critical aspect of school development is self-reflection. This means that first we need to see where we stand, what are the strong points and which points need further development. The next step is to devise a plan for the use of ICT according to national policies, national and international developments, and according to our profile, to who we are. Then we need to implement and monitor the implementation of the plan and at the end reassess what we have achieved. There are several tools designed to support self-reflection of schools, one of which is um, SELFIE. SELFIE stands for self-reflection on effective learning by fostering the use of innovative educational technologies. SELFIE is a free online tool available in 39 languages, which is designed and implemented by the European Commission. A little bit about um, what SELFIE does. SELFIE, in essence, offers a structure to the school community to reflect on how digital technologies are used, taking a holistic school-based approach. This means that reflection involves not only how technologies are used in the classroom, but also focuses on issues related to leadership, infrastructure, collaboration and networking, assessment, continuous professional development, digital competencies of teachers and students. It also offers to the schools the possibility to add and create up to 10 questions according to their needs, profile and priorities. A key characteristic of SELFIE is that it involves in the process of self-reflection not only school leaders and teachers, but also students. About four years ago, I started exploring the world of online tools and what they could mean for uh, supporting my classes. Quickly, it became clear that the effects on students' learning and motivation were major. We tried spreading the digital bug to our colleagues and were pleased to see that there was a lot of knowledge and interest. The problem was that people didn't know about each other's talents. So we wanted to determine what our starting position was in matters of digital competences of our teachers in all its aspects. Uh, that's where Selfie was introduced. School leaders, teachers and students filled in the questions based on their own experiences. The uh, results were used to draw up an action plan with a couple of quick wins, but where a long-term vision was central. Our ambition with Selfie is having a clear view on what teachers need to feel confident to grow in their digital skills and teaching methods so our students are able to develop and evolve in the digital skills which are needed to um, participate in modern society. The self tool is really handy for our principals for several schools. For the uh, digital strategy of our school group, we find it really useful to help uh, to know really participative um, what are the needs of teachers, what are the needs of students, how are they uh, using this, or uh, how do they think where we are now. Especially these days when we have, uh, have had the pandemic and Corona, we are trying to uh, keep the positive things, especially from hybrid learning, uh, maybe blended learning, and we are looking to, forward to try to use digital skills more in every uh, lesson that we give, I think this tool will help us to get there.